Thanks for watching this video. We hope you get a lot of knowledge after watching this video. Today, we are going to explain about nitrogen vacancy center in a diamond. What is this? And why we have to know about this? Nitrogen vacancy center is the main structure for some future technology. For example, nitrogen vacancy center is the most basic structure for quantum computers and used for ultra-fine magnetic de field detector. Look at this graph. This graph is about total publication mentioning nitrogen vacancy and diamond by year. We can see the rapid rise of this content in recent years. In the next few years, this structure will actually be used around us. So let's start by saying what nitrogen vacancy is. In short, MV center refers to a point defect that is in the diamond lattice. Here is diamond structure, but what happens is that two carbon can be replaced by one nitrogen atom and another vacancy. These nitrogen atoms have five valence electrons and three of them covalently bond to the carbon atoms next to it. And two remain non-bonded electrons are called a lone pair. And then, let's look at this vacancy. It has three unpaired electrons. In Ruiz electron dot formula, two of them make a covalent bond and one remains unpaired. But it was a quasi covalent bond, then these three atoms seem like to have visual structures and combine them. In this state, each creates an axis that connects N and vacancy. Originally, Diamonds have a square symmetry, but when the NV center is formed, part of the symmetry of the square is broken and the rotational and reflective symmetry of the NV axis remains. Similar similarly to the symmetry of the equilateral triangle in group theory, it called CV3. Because of this CV3, we can know that it will have three energy states. This MV center does not have only one kind. We can separate it by two MV0 and MV minus. What we have talked about so far is MV0. This MV0 center can be converted into MV minus center by one electron enters to vacancy. Now we are going to talk about how to product MV center in detail. Here is a diamond structure. First, single nitrogen substitutes with the carbon by irradiation using high energy particles such as protons, gamma photons, ions. Vacancy is also substituted by irradiation in different reasons. However, vacancy can't move at room temperature so that analyzing with 700 degrees Celsius is required to move. If mobile vacancy beats the nitrogen atom, nitrogen traps the vacancy. Now let's talk about energy level of MV center. To understand this, we have to know electron spin. Spin is not just rotation of electron, it is all angular momentum that quantum has. If electron spin is counterclockwise, value would be plus half and if electron spin is clockwise, value would be minus half. Because MV center has two unpaired electrons, spin combination has four states. Up, up, down, down, up, down, and down, up. In first two cases, two electron spin direction are paired. So the spin jet component are each one and minus one. In the last cases, two electron spin directions are anti pair so the spin jet component are zero. However, there is the problem in the anti pair cases. Two electrons are independent, so according to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, we cannot distinguish which electron has the plus half or minus half spin quantum number. Therefore, we just think in terms of the combination of the probability of two electrons. In detail, we change the anti pair cases to like this. Let's visualize the total spin of each cases. 
In the pair of spin cases, we can draw like this, and total angular momentum is not zero. In the anti parallel spin cases, there are different two states which the total angular momentum is zero and is not zero. We call the case that has total angular momentum is zero the singlet state, and we call the last cases the triplet state. Using this information, let's look up the energy level of the MV center. There is an assumption to describe MV center energy level. We assume that MV center as a molecule then make analysis with electron orbital. As we study about MV center by group theory, we find that has C3 symmetry, so that MV center has three energy levels according to previous slide. Magnetic interaction by two electrons in MV center causes the separation of these two state triplet. Therefore, there are three states in MV center brown triplet state, intermediate singlet state, and excited triplet state. Because of this, there are some features. First, as we can see the picture, singlet energy state is higher than triplet energy state. This is because of the exchange energy. Same direction of electron spin has lower energy than opposite direction of the electron spin. Second, also the state of ms equal plus minus 1 is more energy level than the last of the state with anti pair ms equal 0 because the two spins are paired. Third, we can also see here that the energy of ms equal plus minus 1 are the same because of the orbital degeneracy. Fourth, how about this gap? On excited state, distance between electrons would be larger, so their interaction energy is more smaller than grounded state. There are two different transitions, non-radiative and radiative transition. At MV center, the example of non-radiative transition is transition between triplet E state to singlet A state and singlet A state to triplet A state. These transitions are also called the inter-system crossing. These transitions are forbidden transition because by the Pauli's exclusion pr principle, the same spin electrons cannot be occupied the same quantum state. However, it takes the short time in macroscopic world while the almost eternal time in microscopic world, so it could be happened. And also, the example of radiative transition is transition that excited triplet state to ground triplet state. Then what is mean of radiative and non-radiative? Radiative is optical transition, a transition in which energy is released in the form of light by the emission of photon that does not change the total spin. However, non-radiative is not optical transition. It is transition in which a phonon is released. Phonon does not release energy in the form of light, but it releases energy in the form of heat or sound. As we mentioned before, ms plus 1 and ms minus 1 state have the same energy. However, magnetic field splits degenerated to ms plus minus 1 states. If they split it, ms-1 state is nearby ms-0 state. This is called Zeeman effect. And last concept is about microwave. The energy difference between the ms-0 and ms-1 states corresponds to the microwave region which has frequency gigahertz. Therefore, if we radiate microwave to MV center, there will be transition ms-0 to ms-1. With those concepts, let's revisit MV center graph and think about various transitions. If we irradiate green laser with 532 nanometer, all of the electrons in MV center will be excited because no transition in MV center requires or emits less energy than the green laser's energy. After excitation, electrons are unstable, so there are transitions that excited MS plus minus 1 to ground ms plus minus 1 and excited ms0 to ground ms0. 
Because those transitions does not change electron spin, they are radiative transition. Also, between those transitions have energy that 637 nanometer light, so they emit red light. In this process, we can initialize the electron spin state to ground state. However, as we mentioned before, there is another path through the non-radiative transition. The energy curve in the function of position of the atom for the excited ms plus minus 1 state intersects the curve for the single A state. So it's possible for the spin to flip with little or no energy required in the transition. This also can be applied for the excited MS0 state to singlet A state. However, the rate of this intersystem crossing is much lower than MS plus minus 1 state. There are more portions of non radiative transition for MS plus minus 1 than MS0. We can check this fact using photoluminescence. Photoluminescence is light emission from any form of matter after the absorption of photons. If a non radiative portion exists, the intensity will be smaller than the 100% radiated portion. Look at this graph. We can check the intensity of the photoluminescence using the microwave's frequency 2.88 GHz is smaller than those using other frequency. This is because the electrons are excited to the ms plus minus 1 state and some of them go through the non radiative transition. If we irradiate the, the magnetic field, how this graph change? As we mentioned before, magnetic field splits the MS1 and MS-1 states in ground and excited states. Therefore, two lowest points are observed in the graph. Each lowest point indicates MS-1 and MS-1. The lowest point that indicates MS-1 has lower frequency than frequency of microwaves and those that indicates MS-1 has higher frequency than the microwave's frequency. Computer use qubit instead of bit. A classical computer processes and stores information in bits of 0 and 1, while a quantum computer processes and stores information in qubits of 0 and 1 stage by form of superposition. For the operation of qubit, quantum entanglement and superposition are needed. Then what are superposition and entanglement? Superposition and entanglement are both quantum phenomena. Superposition is that deterministically not exact one, but all stochastic states exist at the same time. Entanglement is a series of correlations that can exist between subsystems. In quantum world, quantum superposition is broken by major process. To solve this problem, quantum computers use quantum controller. MV centers are used for maintaining qubit stability in the controller. The quantum controller do not go into measuring process. The controller just receives the input value of the superposition, derives the result value through the principle of probability, and outputs the result value in the form of the superposition. Exposure to a strong magnetic field causes the electron spin around the MV center to form up and down stage superposition. MV center technology can stay in superposition stage for 1000 times longer than other technologies.